it's finally here. At IFA 2019, Samsung is finally showing us the new and improved Galaxy Fold, that folding smartphone that everybody was very hype about, and also very controversial. After a round of reviews earlier this year that resulted in a lot of Galaxy Folds being damaged, Samsung recalled a bunch of them and made some tweaks in the engineering. Here are the three key differences in the new Galaxy Fold that is about to launch in Korea and is coming to the UK, Germany, and Singapore on September 18th. First of all, there is a new cap built into the hinge now to close up any gaps that were previously allowing dust to get into the mechanism. This will prevent damage from, say, specks of dirt from getting into that, the moving parts and then breaking things. With the earlier round of Galaxy Fold devices, people mistook the polymer protective layer for a screen protector, and that's why they were kind of peeling it off because it wasn't really lined up to the edges of the display. So this time, Samsung is trying to remove that confusion and make that peeling more difficult by extending the polymer protective layer under the bezels, so this way you can't get your fingernails at it. The screen's also been reinforced with an extra metal layer so that it can be more durable. Finally, due to some engineering and metal improvements, they've been able to make the gap between the two sides of the folding screen a little bit smaller than before. If we can't compare them side by side, it might not be very obvious at immediate glance, but it does look, anyway, based on my experience, a lot smaller. On the whole, this thing just feels a lot more sturdy than before, and it actually locks into place when you open the hinge now. Other than those three changes, everything else about the Galaxy Fold is pretty much the same. You've still got the little bit of a crease on that display that people weren't happy about. But again, if you were already okay and at peace with that fact, then this won't bother you. Everything else, like I said, is the same. You can fold out the phone to get a larger screen. And when you close it, there's a smaller main display. Apps that you first open on the outside screen open up to extend across that wider panel. So that's very handy for something like maps or when you're reading a book, for example. 5G ready versions will be available in select markets and the one that's available in Korea is already 5G ready. You can already pre-order the Galaxy Fold if this is the foldable phone you want. But if you want a different orientation or a different permutation on the second screen phone, remember Huawei's Mate X is expected to be unveiled very soon. It's got an outside folding screen that folds uh, backwards compared to the Samsung version. So it might be liable to more damage, but we haven't really had a chance to test it out fully just yet, so we'll have to wait. We also saw leaks that LG is working on a dual-screen smartphone as well, but with what looks like a hinge mechanism, uh, not a folding screen. So maybe that's what you should be holding out for if you want a DS-like smartphone. For now, I just can't stop playing with the Fold. It's just so satisfying to open and close and snap shut. This is going to probably be very damaged if I keep holding on to it. But uh, to see how these three new changes really impact the durability of the Galaxy Fold, we'd really have to test it in a full review. So for that and for more out of EFA 2019, stay tuned to Engadget.com.